back in Chefaloo, Sicily. My grandfather was born right up the road in his mellow and it feels very special here. This is gonna be a longer one because I want to encourage people to travel solo. Don't wait for somebody to go with you because you'll be waiting a long time. <laughs> That's the reason I started, I thought. So many people had said, oh, I'm going to travel with you. And then I started thinking, wait, I'm just going to go when it's good for me. Get the plane ticket, put my van sneakers on and go. Now it's the more helpful kind of sneakers. Hoku, Hoka. Anyway, I really want to encourage you to take that chance because you don't have to have all the answers. This is what I'm learning as I get older that you don't have to know what will happen. You just have to put one foot in front of the next. I wouldn't have found this place if I wasn't curious about Chef Lou. Now I've been here, is this my seventh time? Um, and you just have to follow your curiosities, which is a way to stay young. And I'm trying to learn Italian. That'll keep you young. And sure, I forget stuff all the time, but I really feel if you can learn new things at any age, and you can learn a new language. I always hear people go, oh, I should have learned that when I was younger. It's like, well, how about now? <laughs> it's going to do you a lot of good if you go to another country. And Italian is, I think, easier than French. I love French, and I would love to speak fluently. Um, but... Traveling is a way to stay young and stay curious and investigate the world and follow the things you want to do. And it even doesn't have to take that much money to do it. Um, when I first started volunteering, I would do volunteer projects and I would still do them now um, and ask for room and board. And in many countries, you're going to get there, and you're not going to have to pay $5,000 for the privilege of volunteering. I haven't ever had to pay for the privilege of volunteering, and you could set that up too when you're traveling. Um, all the good stuff I've set up has been on the ground, talking to people, meeting people, taking a chance with my bad Italian or bad French to have a conversation with a person from a different culture that you're meeting in the middle. Like I wouldn't say the world is getting smaller because I really don't think it is. Um, because it takes a leap of faith over a big chasm <laughs> because you don't know what's going to happen. Um, and to be face to face with the unknown can be scary, but after 17 years, it's getting more that I'm not scared anymore. It's just like, okay, I'm not gonna know the answer to that and that's okay, which has taught me a lot about life and even spirituality and, and my own connection to the divine because you don't always know the answer. You don't know what the plan is. Um, and sometimes you just have to pray for the answer to be revealed to you because you wouldn't have been able to figure it out on your own. I'm seeing that. so. Love from Sicily, and if you have any questions about Sicily, you can come with me next year. I might even come back sooner, so big kiss and a hug, or a rivederci.